Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to add the draggable feature to our application. So this is where we left in the previous video. So as you can see, we have this beautiful modern sign-in form and also we have this terms and conditions page. But the problem is, if we try to move the application, we can't because we haven't coded it yet. So, and that's really one of the most important things to include in an application. So that's what we are going to do in this video. So I'm just going to undock this panel and just, you know, move it aside so I can work on the main form. And let's go to the properties of the form and go to events. And there are three events we need to create. The first one is mouse down, mouse move and mouse up. Just click on the empty area and you can create those events. So we will create three events first and then let's start coding. So now that the events are created, let's start coding. Basically, I need two variables. The first is going to be a boolean, which is going to be called dragging, which I will be using to check whether we are ready to move the application. And also I will get something called a point. So a point is uh, two integers actually, which contains the X and Y coordinates of some point in the screen. So I will use this to um, get the location of the mouse so let's go to the mouse down event and here we are going to enable dragging and also we are going to get the mouse position so let's type dragging equals true and um offset dot x equals so i think i did a little typo here yeah so okay so we will assign offset x equals e arrow X and um, E means the mouse event args and um, also we will do that for the Y position as well offset dot Y equals E arrow Y in the mouse up event we are going to disable dragging and let's get into that later so right now I'm going to code the mouse move event and we are going to check whether we are able to move so we are going to use an if condition and for the condition i'm going to pass dragging which is a boolean so that's pretty fine and inside of the if condition i'm going to create another point which is going to be called current screen position which i am going to use to you know store the screen position of um the mouse when it's moving so earlier we used this offset point to you know get the location of the mouse when the mouse is down and now we are going to use another point um, to get the location of the mouse when it's moving so I'm just going to use this point to screen function and I'm going to pass a point so this takes a point and for the point I'm going to pass two variables which are going to be e arrow x and e arrow y so e means mouse event args so mouse event args means it will pass the cursor and you, we can get the x coordinate and the y coordinates of the cursor so let's uh, go ahead and you know change the form's location to current screen position so now <laughs> this code would not work as we would intend but you know um, just let's try this and see whether it works or not and let's see how it would go so let's run the application so as you can see now if i try to um, move the application it's really weird and i really can't get out of the application <laughs> and i'm really stuck in something i don't want to be stuck in and you see that's really weird if you tried this on your code it, it will end up really weird so <laughs> Uh, I'm just pressing all type for here and you know the application is not working the way I want to so the error here is um, We need to actually calculate the location of the form based on both the current screen position and the Offset variable so this is something I found on stack overflow and actually I didn't you know figure out myself but yeah, you can always use Google and search things and you know Actually, this is kind of a, a complicated thing to explain, but I'll try my best. So you need to reduce the offset from the current screen position. That way you can calculate the correct point uh, to move the form. So I don't think there will be any explanation for this online, but um, I think this um, is kind of like, you know, a copy paste thing. But, you know, 
it really doesn't matter because if you know what's going on it really doesn't matter just use this um there's nothing wrong so as you can see if we run the application now the application works really well and as we intended it really worked well but the problem is um even though i stop uh holding the mouse the form was dragging so now we need to uh, disable dragging in the mouse up event and um, as you can see the application works fine so uh, there's another thing we need to do which is um, add this capability to the uh, panel as well the terms and conditions page so first i will dock the terms and conditions and let's go to its events you can just use the events we created earlier you can just uh, select the event you want from the drop down here and you know uh, you can work with that just like you would uh, call a normal function whenever you need. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something new. And if you did, please hit that like button and also share this with your friends. I don't think anyone shares videos <laughs> like we share memes. But yeah, hit subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.